I'm Amber Mack and welcome to week four of 15 Sec Tech. In this weekly wrap up, you'll find out how to secure your username across multiple social media networks, what to do if you said something that you shouldn't have said on Twitter, and keyboard shortcuts. Don't forget to follow us at 15 Sec Tech on Instagram. And of course, you can leave us a comment right here on YouTube. Nomad Key is a tiny and very durable charging cable shaped to go in your keychain so that you always have it with you. You can bend this thing and twist it and uh, it will take an awful lot of punishment. It's available in micro USB for Android and other devices as well as Apple's lightning connector. So grab one of these up and you'll never have to worry about being without a charging cable again. Sometimes we tweet things that we may regret. Twitter just announced that you can now search all tweets since the beginning of the service's launch early in 2006. If you want to delete a tweet that you would rather not appear on your timeline, all you have to do is go into advanced search. You can then search by your username and any other information. Once you find the tweet that you want to delete, it's really simple to get rid of it. All you have to do is click on the three little dots and then click on delete tweet. I recently read that the most often typed text message is where are you? How often do you type the same message out over and over again? Your smartphone can probably help save you some time. For example, in iOS, go to general settings, then keyboard, then shortcuts, and program in the things that you frequently type. For example, when I type GGG, I get the auto-corrected message going to the gym. Namecheck.com has been around for a while now and it's a super useful website and there's an app for it as well. What it lets you do is type in a username or vanity URL you're interested in and Namecheck will look across a wide variety of social networking and related sites to see if that name is available. So it's a great way to check them at a glance. But keep in mind, Namecheck will say a name is available if that name does not meet the criteria for a given uh, website. So for instance, on Twitter, you can only have 14 letter long handles. So if you type in a 16 letter long handle that you're looking for, it's gonna say it's available on Twitter because nobody else has it. Nobody else has it because you actually can't have that long a name on Twitter. So be careful and double check, but otherwise it's just a fantastic service when you're looking to get your brand online. I travel quite a bit for business, so I love to use the Chrome Remote Desktop app so I can easily access files on my computer from my Android device. This works with a smartphone or a tablet. The app is free to download and it uses a pin to ensure that your connection is always secure. 